starters out, batteries out, wires are disconnected from the, the hood. Four bolts across here that come out. Two bolts, one on each side around the radiator cover. Disconnect the fuel line and supposedly we can pick this up and move it. So now the theory is to see if we can pick it up and move it. Can I open this up then? Yeah, we'll take this off. So that gives us some room. And oh, I hooked on a radiator. My side is going to go up ways. Huh? All right, there we go. Yeah, kick her closer. There we go. There's a fuel line in there that we got to move forward a little bit. There we go. That works. Thank you, baby. All right. So that's that. Now, what we got to do, put that bag on her so we don't get junk in her. Anyhow, so now I got to disconnect these both sides, get a block up underneath here, jack stand, jacks, hold this in place, unbolt all of this, these bolts all the way around. And then that front piece is supposed to roll forward. Alrighty, so what we gotta do is to continue separating, we gotta pull the uh, air intake off for the carburetor, pull that out of the way. And we gotta remove this donut around the exhaust, drop the exhaust out of the way, oil pressure gauge, there's a uh, choke, excuse me, there's a choke lever here that needs to be connected from the carburetor, and this is the tachometer, so that's got to be disconnected, and then we'll go ahead and pull these out of the way to uh, get this side prepped to be uh, released, and of course, one time it's a metric and guarantee this time it's going to be a standard and or the wrench wasn't in the right spot let's get this turkey back on there something is getting replaced because there you are just rough shape. the grinder, throw some new bolts in there, actually the wire wheel, we'll polish her up, make it look pretty. So, what are you doing, rooster? What are you getting into? No. There's a chipmunk out there, it's got that dog's name written all over it, because he's going after it. Alrighty, that's part of what we're getting into. Doing it right or wrong? Huh? Huh? Am I doing it right? <laughs> really? I'm doing it that bad? Well, <laughs> but I was following the directions. The rule book said to do it. <laughs> no, I'm not reading the words. I'm looking at the pictures. So, is that good? Or should I read? <laughs> okay. Fine. I'll go back and read the directions. <clears throat> All righty, 
so we're going to go ahead and pull these bars out of the way. So, as you can tell by the way this bolt just rolled out of there, it, uh, it's pre-staged. I may or may not have loosened it up to make me look a little better in the camera. So, anyhow, we're going to pop that out of the way, put these jokers back in so I don't go losing them, which I'm really good at doing. And then uh, this one up here was kind of one that threw me for a loop because I wasn't sure what to do on it, but I thought that you pulled it loose down here. There's a nut back here on the back end, and I, so I pulled it off. Come to find out you don't because it's sitting on a little ball and socket similar to what this other one here is. You know, sitting in this and it's just got a greaser and a bunch of grease in it. So you don't pull that one out, you pull this one out. But what I've learned on this one is it has splines in it because it's attached to the steering column. And uh, so you got to kind of pry that out and it'll, it'll pop out. But Right in here in the top, there is a spline that's like too wide compared to all the rest. So that, uh, and then it has a wide groove in there, so it allows you to line this back up where it was supposed to be at. I didn't know that, so it was kind of interesting. I found that out on the other side. So I thought I'd share it for with you on this side to make it look like I knew what the heck I was doing. And. It's a sure sign that I don't. Oh, because I just about knocked myself out with a crowbar. Anyhow. Alrighty. Well, things are going to get a little hairy now. <clears throat> we are either going to separate this tractor, or we're going to drop this son of a gun on the ground. I am all for not dropping it on the ground, to be quite honest with you. Just a smidgen on the nervous side, but that's what makes it fun, right? The element of oh crap! Yeah, it's always nice to have that element. Let's see if what this is gonna do. Pull this last bolt, and something's supposed to happen. I don't know what it is, but we are going to find out. Let's get us a good old-fashioned convincer. And convince, oh, well, it comes out if you take all the bolts out. Looky there, Mr. Willett. I forgot one. So, Let's see what happens there. Something moved. Something moved. folks. Now we can convince all of this to come out. We'll be in better shape. Something's dragging. What's dragging? Huh? It is this fancy dancy in there, that's what you did. Keep rolling. Keep a rolling. Alrighty. 
anyhow, that's it in a nutshell, folks. That goes there. That sits there. And we have the tractor broke into two pieces. Now, let's see if we can fix it. <laughs> 